Um, at least in your view, like who wrote the book of Genesis? Where um, this book, when we get the Bible, um, the, the first book of our Bible, where does it come from? Like who wrote uh, the book of Genesis? Well, we wish we knew, <laughs> but unfortunately the book does not tell us and the rest of the Bible does not tell us. Mm -hmm. And therefore we really don't know. But beyond that, that level of, well, it just doesn't give us the information. In one sense, the question itself can be problematic. Um, we tend to think of the books in our Bible as, well, books that have authors and a point in time at which they were written. That says a lot more about our world than it says about their world. Uh, in the ancient world, Israel included, people were hearing dominant, not text dominant. Uh, this doesn't just have to do with literacy, although most people could not read and write uh, beyond any basic level, if that. Uh, but it has to do with how culture functioned. Mm. And so the idea of hearing dominance is that they were used to receiving their information uh, through people speaking. And that means that the first inclination was not to write. After all, if people can't read, then what do you gain by writing? There was writing, of course. There were scribes who did writing. And the things they wrote were put in archives, but it wasn't like a library that anybody could go and take out something and read it. And therefore, the first inclination was not to write things. Uh, there were things written, but much of the transmission of the traditions, like those found in Genesis, would have been conveyed orally over centuries and centuries, perhaps before somebody wrote them down. And we wouldn't know who that was who did that. Thank you.